Okay guys, I wanted to show you this riprap project I'm working on. This is the new garage, here's the existing house. And we had to build up quite a bit, you know, for this to be level right here. And over this curb, there is a drop off here. And uh, it's a bunch of loose dirt and gravel. And basically you can see it's been started down there, there's my shadow. But we're putting these big heavy rocks on top of this loose stuff to hold it in place and keep it from washing on down into the wash down there. Um, gotten this far in uh, since yesterday. I had some of this done a long time ago with the rocks I found around my house, but it was obvious I was going to have to order some. So I ordered three yards of this and it's not going to be enough. It's probably going to have to be another four to six yards. Well, you might not be able to tell a lot of difference, but actually I got about four or five feet up the slope all the way across um, in about three hours yesterday afternoon. Now it's about one o'clock. I have the afternoon free. Um, the problem is I'm running out of rock and I can't get any more until next week. So this is where the riprap project is right now and I'll show you my pile I'm working from back in a minute. Okay that's what's left of my three yards that I have to use. Um, a lot of it's too small to really use for that particular project so um, I'm probably gonna end up waiting till next week but I could probably get another couple of wheelbarrow loads out of this so we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is the Rip Rep project. It is, I think, the 9th of January. I had to wait a whole week to get some more rock. Um, somebody came in and took everything they had, so I just got some yesterday, which was Friday. Um, I'm pretty much where I was uh, as far as this main area here. Um, when the last time I showed you, but what's different this time is, and I'm going to walk you around, the sun's just rising behind me, so... I got to keep the camera pointed in this direction. So basically what we did yesterday, Heinz came over, my neighbor, and helped me, is we got the rest of the perimeter of the rocks laid out here. It's going to go right around to this bush, that bush right there. And then we're going to go about two thirds of the way from here up this hill. And we're going to go around uh, the Socotillo plant here and we're going to finish the rest of that area there that's uh, bare of the big rocks. Okay guys, here is the riprap project. We got it mostly done. Actually, it's done as far as I originally intended to take it, which was right to here. But we ended up going around these Ocotillos and coming around and I'm going to take it over to this tree right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little line in the dirt right there. That's as high as we're going to go. Okay guys, this is what it looks like from the bottom. This is nine yards of riprap and every stone has been hand placed. So I'm just going to walk you through here. Got to watch out for this big choya right there. That, that'll get you in trouble quickly. Okay, I'm around that. And now I'm just going to point upstream here. There's the curb of my driveway. So this is what this whole thing looks like. Walk the little path here. This is where we had to dig for um, the wire for my driveway lights. We had to dig a trench and so ended up making a nice little path out of it. And this is the last little bit that needs to be done up to that little line right there. You see a wire sticking out of the ground that used to be the driveway lights. Doesn't work anymore. Okay guys, it's Monday morning. Uh, Heinz and I worked all weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And we ran out of rocks again. We have this little spot left that we're, we need to fill in. We're gonna go on Wednesday and pick up another yard and a half and hopefully that should do it. Um, that'll be the end of the project but I do wanna show you one other thing, stand by. 
Okay, so I'm at the top of where the path comes off my driveway. There's my garage right there. <clears throat> we widened that out, uh, cut some things out, and cleaned it up quite a bit so we can easily have access down there now. And then check this out. While Heinz had his tractor here, this is something Keith and Peter and I have been talking about. But we built a road over to their house. And their dogs came and ran this trail, this little trail, they ran over here and visited us yesterday, which was so cool. We love our neighbors, Keith and Petra, and we're happy to have a little connecting trail with them. Okay, yesterday, Heinz, my neighbor, came by with his trailer. We went and got another yard and a half of riprap, and we actually finished the project. So I just wanted to show you the completed project here. So the sun is behind me, so that's why I'm walking this way. But here it is. We avoid this choya right here. We'll start part way through here and just pan up and show you that it goes up to the level of the driveway in front of the new garage. And starting right about here is the part we finished yesterday. And my sister, Allie, and her husband, Jeff, are here visiting and they helped us finish it up. So, there it is. The Rip Rap Project is done. Okay, this is one last shot of what the Rip Rap Project looks like from above. I'll walk around here, show you real quick. We left this uh, dirt area up here for flowers or plants or whatever. Sorry about my shadow. I would also like to add that the animals love this new trail. Uh, we see footprints in it all the time, so I'm pretty sure the javelina deer and other creatures are using it for easy access. All of this is basically to hold this dirt from just washing away down into the wash over there. So there it is. It was close to a week of two guys working. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just to put a bow on the riprap project, I uh, wanted to show you that we did run a line and put the proper box and everything, drilled the hole in the wall and connected the lights properly and then put a little bit of riprap over the top of uh, the trench. But anyway, just wanted to tie that off.